Hey guys, Chris here, Scarhub, and uh, this is going to be a review on the American Inca with a C instead of a K. I believe this is the Roca size. It goes by that name or something somewhat similar. I can just take a quick look here. Yes, it's the Roca size. I assume it is anyway. I have no indication, but it looks the closest to a 5x50 out of all of them. It's uh, definitely not any of the other sizes. They don't have ones. All too small. Although I would say it does look like it's um, undercutting a 5x50 a little bit. So uh, without further ado, let's get into this scar. So this is one of a number that Alistair sent, so um, thank you very much for that. I already reviewed one of the ones he sent, I've got a couple more to come. And yeah, it's an interesting band. That, uh, that circle right there, on the uh, top there, that's not in the center. Don't know who that is. I believe that says, uh, what, rich, smooth, satisfying. Some nice patterns, it's um, actually a pretty nice band. It doesn't feel like it's all completely coherent, but I quite like it. These are Peruvian scars, they're handmade. They have that um, sort of like a sweet tang that the Peruvian scars seem to have. If you remember my um, reviews on the Inca Seeker blend, the ones with the K, it's pretty much seems quite similar to those off the bat. Just uh, the way it smells. It's supposed to be quite similar, so. I'll take a look. It says Peru right there. That was the band coming off. Those isn't. So, uh, without further ado, let's get into this. Those were um, the original Incas with the K, the ones I reviewed. I believe this might be the original actually, but uh, the ones I reviewed in the first place. Uh, the blue one was very, um, very, very smooth. It was a nice, um, basic budget creamy cigar. It was so good. The red one was, uh, the red one was okay. It tasted a bit more like a budget Cuban though. Like uh, they're trying to imitate it a bit. A lot of airflow. I didn't cut too much off the cap, but maybe a little bit much. Exploded quite a bit. But it was a uh, pretty flat, not too uh, flat, not too round. So I'm not sure how much I'm gonna have to say about this cigar today. It's uh, gonna be one of those. I just figured I would uh, smoke while I would enjoy one today. I don't uh, get much time to make these videos as I used to, but I've still got a decent number of cigars to uh, on the uh, review shelf in the humidor. I'm also considering retiring one of my humidors, just because it's never really empty and I don't really use it anymore. It just keeps a few cigars in it. As per usual, got my uh, stopwatch here. Oh, that is po that's quite potent. Um some really strong mineral taste there. So I can't quite put my finger on. So uh, I'll see you in a second. I'm going to uh, quickly smoke this for a minute. Just take a few slow draws. That's probably a bit long to record on video. And uh, I'll tell you what the taste is, so I'll see you in a second. It will literally just be two minutes. Literally just a couple minutes later, but uh, made a couple notes on the flavor, and I think it's more the way it's delivered rather than natural flavors. I got it a little bit chemically, as in like, um, and it's like m a bit of a musty taste mixed with, you know, not quite ammonia, but it's quite sharp. It's definitely a very sharp grass taste as well. 
There's no spice, no wood, nothing like that, I don't think. And uh, is again, I would say a little bit on the creamy side. I was sort of expecting it, and that is what I can pick up here, but uh, it's about as far as that one goes. I would say very sharp grass is the only real um, major organic taste in this. But it is, um, it's not particularly in the way of spices, but it's delivered in uh, quite a harsh way, I would say. As in definitely like, um, almost like a little bit of a sour feeling to it, rather than sweet. Pretty, uh, pretty much towards bitter, to be honest. I wouldn't quite say it's like a full-on bitter scar to start, but um, definitely a little bit. Nice draw. Starting to burn quite nicely, but quite fast. We're going to have to see how this goes. Interesting band, but... Uh, can't really think of anything more to say about it right now, so maybe when we get a full third in, we'll see. I'll make it the next segment, so uh, I'll see you then. So we are 28 minutes in. A little bit cautious this is about to fall off, but um, so I'd like to say about this is that the wrapper seems to be good quality, no uh, spiking of veins, nothing, nothing of that nature, but uh, it does not burn very straight. This um, this is quite common, but this is after I already touched it up. Um, bad choice of words, but uh, it was really you know like halfway down this. It was uh, getting pretty extreme. It felt like it was about to tunnel, so um, a little bit worried about that happening. So far, so good though. Nothing uh, nothing else to report on the flavors though. Just wanted to make a clip now before the uh, ash fell off. I usually do about half an hour as a milestone. Mash chair a little bit closer there. But yeah, it does feel like tunneling is probably going to be happening. The heat is definitely, it's very, very hot by the band here. And that's uh, it's quite a distance ahead of where it probably should be. Nice, pleasant cigar. I would say it's um, quite a nutty taste right now. Not uh, the usual chewy nut I usually go with. I would say it's more towards the creamy nutty taste. Quite pleasant. But uh, it's only been half an hour. I think we're not quite looking at an hour and a half cigar. Maybe hour 15 hour maybe if you smoke fast. Not close enough to my uh, desk here. So I'm going to miss my ashtray when this falls off. I think uh, it's getting hot enough by this point up front to take the band off. If I could get my nail under there. Hmm. Maybe it's not quite at that point yet. Either that or I've just got no thumbnails at all, which is also true. There's a lot of heat in this cigar, definitely more than I would expect, but um, the taste is quite light. I would say um, the strength of the flavor of the overall body would be definitely towards the upper side. It's uh, light flavors, weak flavors, but with quite a strong impact. Pretty plain, as I said before, they're nice. Uh, the, uh, Inca with a K, I assume it's, um, I don't know if there's any distinct differences between them, if there even is any. But uh, they definitely look, look different, the wrapper seems to be a bit different. These seem to have uh, darker wrappers, maybe aged a little bit more, a bit more flavor. Yeah. A little bit, uh, little bit much on the ash taste, but it's, you know, overall pretty good so far. 
just uh, relaxing back, smoking this one, watch something, so... If I seem a bit out of it, it's because I am trying to relax for a change. It's <laughs> not all too common. That's why I don't have as many scars now. I have nothing else to say about this, but uh, enjoying it so far. I'm actually surprised the ashes uh, stayed on this long. The wrapper burn is a little bit janky. I don't think it would have quite credited itself if I didn't give it a little bit of help at some point, but uh, except for now, it appears to be doing decent enough. Your flow is um, pretty much just about right, I think. Yeah. Definitely a nice cigar, at this point anyway. So uh, I'll make a clip as I get further down the cigar, so uh, I'll see you in a minute. So here we are one hour in. We're going to call this towards the end of the cigar. As per usual, I like to smoke the last 5-10 minutes to myself. Surprisingly, very little tar buildup. I'd say for maybe, possibly, some burning issues. I think it's overall very, very good. Flavor-wise, I mean, of course, it's picking up a little bit. All scars get a little bit spicier to get towards the end. This one, not much of an exception. Still kind of the same taste. It's definitely um, the sharp grass throughout is kind of the, uh, the point for me on this one. Almost um, not quite the main taste, but the aftertaste is still quite creamy. I should probably have watched my old review on this to maybe do some compar um, comparisons or maybe bought another one of the uh, Inca with the K Blues to compare it to directly. But um, aside from that, quite a nice cigar. You don't, they're not so common to buy here. You can buy them in the US a lot, the Yanka with the Sea. If it's a nice cheap budget cigar there, I would definitely recommend it for that kind of use. As um, not a cigar you'd buy for a special occasion or something you'd have as a... Uh, you know, something is uh something more upmarket than usual, something that's a finer premium scar, but uh for a more occasional smoke, it's definitely quite nice for that. It's a nice uh, cheap budget scar. I probably also recommend this um I wouldn't actually recommend this as a wedding cigar. A lot of people tend to uh ask about wedding cigars a lot and what I really think is something a bit more basic. Something very light and very plain in flavour, something without anything sharp in it at all. That way, uh, if you've got people who enjoy cigars, they'll still enjoy it, because it's, uh, you know, decent, pleasant cigars to smoke over time. Also, you don't want to hit people who don't usually smoke cigars with something a bit too heavy, so... Uh, I wouldn't really recommend this, it does have a bit more sharp flavours. But I think it's definitely uh, a good contender of a cigar, so... Uh, positive review. So, uh, that's going to be it for today. The usual stuff at the end of my videos, I'm already forgetting what I usually say. Um, I have a Facebook page for Scar Hub. The link is in the description of this video and all my videos. I also include the links to some of the places I buy my cigars. Uh, you also find a link to my Patreon in case you want to support me. Uh, I can't say there's been too much support with it, but um, over the years, someone was uh, saving a small amount, and eventually I bought this microphone, which is a lot better than the old one. And uh, someone recently pledged something, so uh, I feel more obligated to make more videos. So if you want to contribute to that, then uh, you could always go there. It's uh, a monthly payment thing. It's quite nice. I appreciate anyone who uh, helps contribute. Also, thanks to Alistair who sent in the cigar, as well as a few others. I reviewed one before. I've got more to review, so uh, looking forward to those. And yeah, I'll be trying to make more reviews as things come up recently. I do have some more time. So, yeah, thanks for watching, and goodbye. And have a good day, of course, and a good smoke.